Now we are going to talk about how to check application log display. So application log display is something where what happens, you get an error message and SAP logs it in the application and sometimes you may not see it. Just imagine you create a purchase order and you get an error message. That what happened really. So it's very useful for doing a post-mortem of the your process and, and trying to find what why this person really gets an error and sometimes it's very useful to replicate the issue which you cannot replicate. So the transaction is SLT1 and what I'm going to run for everything and here you have something called very only something, but it gives me the error once that probably is the one that I will want to check. So I'll just execute and it takes me to all these places where I have this problem. So you can see here problem with class. Uh, so here you can see what are the error messages that is happening. Let's scroll down. Let me see whether we can find something. So Having a problem, you can find see this. This tells me which user ID is having the problem. Okay, so this is very useful. And here you can see one is for my my one also. Okay, so here you can see and you can double click on it and show you what are the problems. Okay, so here you can see this is the message I got that it does not contain an entity of cell you can be useful in finding what is the problem behind any issue lots of times they say oh you know we 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 have this problem it happens but you don't really what is happening but here from here you can see that it happened from transaction code bd84 and i executed and these are the different problems it gives you more meaning Information which is really useful. And if I say only import logs, let me see what it shows. Probably it shows errors as well as the yellow point. So, what I can do is probably I'll just point out my ID, which is student uh, 011. Sorry, and I'll execute and probably I'll see some, uh, some yellow. Message. A yellow as well as red ones. Okay, so now it is only one, and here you can see all this information that is coming. So now let me go and we'll just execute it for everything, and you'll we'll see all the yellow ones. So the yellow ones will tell me what is the problem. And generally, warning is something that you know we can, but I'm just showing something useful so you double click on this and you can see useful and this is very handy uh, because here you know you can see what are the different information it doesn't tell you what are the transaction code but it will give you all this information which is pretty useful so you can click on this and you get more information what what you are trying to do this automatic number and so on and so forth so everyone is very important find what are the errors that is there so perfect example can be sometimes what happens is you know, we saw in bd84 we try to process and we get an error we get it from there uh, another one can be suppose you are trying to create a purchase order and you have a connection with taxes tax system like a vertex or a tax and that is messed up so you can see so lots of time you know you can to sure you can take proactive action rather than reactive action okay so that's it for SLG one it's very useful basis uh, technical consultant and even the functional concept you should use this transaction that's it for this tutorial stay tuned to my sp channel and have